Alright guys, so I just wanted to show a bit of uh, the design and build um, of the locking mechanisms. So here you'll see uh, when the solenoid is pressed, uh, the brake pad is pushed into the wheel locking the rollers, meaning they can't spin no matter where the wheel is of course. Then when the solenoid is released, the wheels spin free. Um, the rest here, we got some uh, match footage of our robot during uh, Beantown Blitz 2011. Uh, you can see very clearly uh, how the robot's uh, abilities to strafe and uh, uh, stuff like that has uh, helped us, especially in that competition in that year. So the, here you can see, uh, even with the catastrophic failure of the drivetrain, um, the, uh, the rest of the wheels can make up for it right here. Uh, we lose one of our wheels, um, but we have enough power and enough uh, push to maneuver ourselves into position to still score the tube. Here you can see its ability to kind of weave through traffic. Uh, we think we're going to score, but uh, our alliance partner bails on Minibot, so we have to get our Minibot right then. Um, we weave through tubes and through robots and are able to get our minibot on. Uh, here you see the uh, quickness of lineup for the robot. Uh, we had some new drivers who uh, didn't get the hang correct, but you can see how quickly the robot could get lined up with the uh, peg to score. Just a matter of uh, getting the arm out long enough. Here's uh, us playing a bit of defense. Um, you can either do something like this, where you're playing hard man-to-man -man defense, um, or here, as after they come out after their score, um, we decide that we're going to try and stop them from getting other two. We mostly just press into their side, uh, side-loading their wheels, not allowing them to uh, to move.